It all depends on the type of catheter you're building and where you're trying to go to in the body, and most importantly, what you're trying to deliver. As the new therapies are developed, usually larger, so you've got to get a large therapy condensed down to a small profile and then deliver it into a torturous area. The thinner liners is just a component within the catheter, but allows the overall profile of the catheter to be reduced or to increase the inner lumen size to, again, deliver those bigger therapies. A lot of the areas that they're trying to get to that are more difficult, so the, the better the technology can be to get into those areas, so softer, thinner, more flexible components, therefore yield a smaller, more lower profile catheter. And the key isn't just getting to those areas, but it's also then taking the technology and the therapies and then also letting that catheter deliver those therapies to those areas. It could be drugs, it could be drug eluting stents, it could be uh, the new things that's coming out is going to be the absorbable scaffolds, which is an absorbable stent. So getting to those areas and to deliver something that is high radial force through a catheter is very challenging. So focusing on stroke prevention and or therapy, for example, the Streamliner with Tylair, it allows a catheter to be designed to go into more torturous areas, so it's a smaller profile or a larger lumen area. The Tylair gives you an added adhesion, which allows for reduced delamination, which really allows you to put the catheter under more vigorous turns and bends. And therefore, a catheter can perform better, navigating further into the brain, and then provide the therapy the patient needs. We've got a very healthy pipeline of innovative products and solutions that we believe is going to help shape the future of the medical device industry. An example would be an extruded PTFE liner coupled with braiding or polyimid capabilities where typically you would have all film cast components or all extruded components. We're taking it and looking at how can we marry these up and provide the same profile but deliver better performance. There will be a next generation of the Streamliner but with enhanced features and properties that allow design engineers to develop catheters that they don't have the ability to today. Our Streamliner XT and VT exists today as a free extruded PTFE liner. Very thin, our most thin extruded liner there is. We are now going to come out with a Streamliner over the wire, XT, VT, and a UT, which is even thinner, down to four tenths. That over the wire opportunity gives design engineers the ability to develop new catheters with a thinner, softer, more flexible liner than Zeus has ever delivered before. It have more customized design options for the design engineer, which is really our goal. It's not to tell people how to build a catheter, but it's to give them the tools and the options and help them understand why they can develop a catheter that doesn't exist today. So one of the things that I see as an opportunity for the future is really it involves imaging, allowing the doctor to see the area of the body that they're trying to, to treat, diagnose it more quickly so they can treat it more efficiently. So that involves anything from the imaging system to making smart catheters using AI in future opportunities. There are innovations such as sensors that are very small now, very small where they can put them into a catheter, but now you have to get that catheter to come alive and be smart, connected back and have outputs. So now you have two different technologies that haven't met yet. So it needs to be a continuous evolution until those innovations marry up. So the next generation catheter is going to continue to evolve with dinner softer, more flexible, but customizable components where right now there's just a few options. So as you continue to give the uh, design engineer options, they can take different designs and apply them in ways never done before, which could yield incredible results.